RFSU provides information about sexually transmitted infections. You can get a sexually transmitted infection, also known as an STI, if you have unprotected sex with someone who has a sexually transmitted infection. They are transferred via mucous membranes and body fluids in the genitals, mouth, and anus. Condoms used throughout intercourse provide excellent protection against sexually transmitted infections. If you have had intercourse without a condom, it's important to get tested so that you can be treated and reduce the risk of passing on a disease. It is free to get tested, guidance, and treatment for most sexually transmitted infections. This is true for everyone in Sweden, whether or not you are a Swedish citizen. If you get tested and have a sexually transmitted infection, it does not affect your ability to obtain a residence permit. There are many different sexually transmitted infections that can be passed through unprotected sex. They include chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes, condyloma, HIV, and hepatitis B. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis are bacteria and can be cured with antibiotics. Herpes, condyloma, HIV, and hepatitis B are viruses and can be treated with antiviral medications. Different sexually transmitted infections can cause various symptoms, and some common symptoms include itching, foul-smelling discharge, a burning sensation when urinating, sores, and pain. It is also common to have a sexually transmitted infection without having any symptoms. If you have had intercourse without a condom, you should get tested, and it is important for samples to be taken from the areas of your body where you have had sex. You can do this through samples from the mouth, vagina, anus, a urine sample, or through a blood test. One common sexually transmitted infection is chlamydia. Chlamydia often produces no symptoms, so you can have it without knowing about it. But if you do not treat chlamydia, it can be harder to get pregnant. It is also easier to get other sexually transmitted infections, such as HIV, if you have chlamydia. HIV can be passed through vaginal or anal intercourse without a condom, or via semen in the mouth. HIV and hepatitis can also be passed if you share needles with someone. If you do not treat HIV with medication, the body's resistance to other diseases worsens. This is what is usually called AIDS, and if it goes untreated, it is deadly. Today, there are good medications for HIV that can prevent the development of AIDS. If you take these medications regularly and properly, you cannot pass HIV to someone else. HPV is a very common virus of which there are many types. Some types of HPV can cause genital warts, called condyloma. Condyloma is not dangerous and usually goes away on its own, but it can take time. There is also HPV, which can cause cell changes, especially to the cervix. To reduce the risk of someone getting cervical cancer, all women who are at least 23 years old are recommended to get regular pap smear tests from a gynecologist. Another way to reduce the risk of cancer in adults is that schools offer all girls an HPV vaccination. Boys, women, and men can also be vaccinated against HPV. Some sexually transmitted infections are easier to transmit than others, but there are many ways to have sex that involve very little risk of getting a sexually transmitted infection, such as kissing and stroking different parts of the body. During intercourse, condoms are the best way to protect yourself and others. If you have had intercourse without a condom, it's important to get tested. If you have questions about sexually transmitted infections or testing, contact a youth clinic, STI clinic, midwifery clinic, or a medical clinic.